Hey, what is up everyone? This is Flash from Flash Lawn Care and we are here at the Home Depot in Houston, Texas. I'm going excited because I'm going inside to get my first like huge big purchase for Flash Lawn Care. So I wanted the mower and they were out of it here on the bottom so I had to wait for somebody to come get it from the top. And here's the mower itself. There's the price. And I think it's pretty, pretty fairly priced for what it is. So there it is on top, the last one and here is actually the mower that I've been using is the Toro 22 inch so they, they were nice enough to get somebody to bring it down for me and now it's coming home with me alrighty I am home with the new machine so excited I have no idea how to use this thing but I'm gonna have to look at a couple of videos and the instruction manual and just learn about it I also bought a five gallon can to go with it uh, apparently it has a pretty small tank for its size so it's gonna need constant fill up. I only have a one gallon and a two gallon, so naturally I needed a five gallon. Can't wait to try this thing out. All right, here at the first yard, um, this was just a flower bed cleanup, so this is not what I'm doing. I'm actually doing the lawn across the street. So the front's not that bad. Let me show you the back. Here's the back. doesn't look that bad when you actually look at it in here it's it's pretty deep a couple inches in fact so we'll see how the Toro handles it so it's just a good way to break it in I guess um, it's gonna be a nice easy learning curve I think with the front I can kind of get a hang of the mower by the time I get to the back well as you can see it did a pretty good job the grass is now nice and level this was really thick and wet grass so it did bog down a couple times i think it turned off on me like three times but it did really well compared to my other mowers all right as you can see it cut this one down pretty well as well um, this is the same kind of grass that I had at the other location and as you can see here once once it gets in it turns into like this straw material and it really bogs the machine down and a lot of my yards are like that so it's no surprise that the machine bogs down what I don't like is how much of this mulch is left over um, I'm gonna have to come through with the weed blower and kind of get this in here or I'll have to put the bag on it and mulch it um, but I mean the cut overall was really good uh, I did bog down on me twice though but Again, I attribute it to this and also the, the naming system. Instead of numbers, it has letters on the wheels and I'm just, I'm still not used to the settings on it. So I think I'm going a little bit too low, but um, I think it looks great so far. We're going to put it to one more test where I have a triple cut to do. And that one is not this type of grass, so it should be pretty good. See, the front was long, but it was of normal length long. And this is what it looks like now. They did really, really well. Very even cut, no clumps. All right, so this is where the real test is going to be because I have to do this one, all of this, that one, and this one. So these three with my regular Honda mower takes me, I think, about an hour and a half just to do the mowing. Then I have to do the edging, which is about another 30 minutes or so. So I think this is where it's really going to shine or let me know if this is really going to save me some time. All right, so I'll put a screenshot here so you guys can see it. I put a timer on my iPhone and it took me 34 minutes to do all three yards. That is absolutely incredible. It took an hour off my mowing time just right there. Um, like I said, it, it normally takes me an hour and a half. If it's really hot, I go a little bit slower. So hour 45 to two hours with the push mower. Well, the 21 inch or 22 inch, amazing. Also add that I don't know how much is left in the tank, but I did not have to refill it. This was one tank on all three houses. All right, so it handled this grass a lot better because this was, uh, it was tall, but it wasn't that same kind of like that clumps up, but uh, it came out really good. I think if I would have done that with my regular 21 or 22 inch mower, it would have been an hour just back here. I did the mowing and the trimming in an hour. Here's a look at the front. 
again very nice clean lines it doesn't leave any frayed edges or any like loose ones here we are another nice lawn makes everything so so much easier i swear so one thing this does exceptionally well is bag and this bag holds a lot usually when i do this yard with the honda mower i have to empty it three times just because of see how thick it is it's a lot that goes into the bag i'm almost done with the entire yard before i have to empty the bag and I actually think I could have finished it, but I started freaking out because I felt the weight. So I just didn't want to overdo it. Well guys, I've done a couple, I waited a couple days to make my final assessment on this thing and kind of give you my opinion on it. So some of the things that I do like, and it's, it's really mind boggling how big this machine is whenever you see it in person, but it's actually very agile. It's very easy to maneuver. Um, I can actually fit it in most places where I fit my regular mowers and I have no issues with it. I will say it's just as agile as the Toro that I have already, the 22 inch recycler. The second thing, and I actually think it's my second favorite thing next to the personal pace. So I'll talk about the personal pace, absolutely amazing. You can go as slow, as fast as you want to go. So I absolutely love that. But the thing that I was really surprised by was the wheels. Although I don't really care for this gray color and I really wish it came black. And I mean, you can paint the wheels, but um, I wish it came black. It would give it a nice aggressive look. And also it's a lot cleaner. See, as you can see, it's already, it's not really worth painting because I am gonna use and abuse these wheels. So for me, it's not worth painting, but I love how smooth they are because they're actual rubber. So not only are you gonna have longevity with these, they grip really well. They leave a pretty good line on the yards themselves as far as the striping goes. Not the best. I actually get better striping from these wheels. Um, of course, you know, the whole striping really comes from a kit, but just with the regular wheels, you can definitely see the striping more with this than you can with this one. But that's all right. But I love the oversized wheels in the back. Um, it's really easy to go over terrain, slopes and stuff like that really isn't an issue with the personal pace combined with the wheels. So absolutely love that. Again, um, the one thing you have to love about this is just how wide it is and how much cutting it does so quickly. So with those things combined, it's a great machine. And I, th I think it is worth the price. Now, where there's one couple things that I don't like are these. So I feel that the motor is a bit misleading. Yes, it says it's a 10 horsepower, 223cc motor. But one thing that I found, and I, you guys saw in the video, you know, I cut some, some pretty thick stuff overall. And this thing does not like any type of grass with moisture in it. The moment I hit any yards with moisture, it was bogging down. And uh, I had to raise up the, the, cutting, um, the cutting height just so I can get a, a good clean cut on top and then come back through a second time. So it wasn't really saving much time in that, that aspect. And the second thing, and it attributes to the 10 horsepower. Now it sounds like a great big motor and everything, but it, remember it's pushing two. So in reality, I felt like it was pushing five horsepower to each one. The moment I hit something really thick, you can really hear the, the blades start to wind down and it's starting to bog down. And uh, that, that was a bit concerning because you know, you'd think, oh, it's a 10 horsepower. It should be, should be really great. Well, when you think, you know, 10 pounds of, of torque, you think that's a lot. And it really is because with this one, this is a 7.25 on its own, but it's pushing it to one blade. So the one thing that I'm finding is, is that I feel like it's really splitting the power between both and you're not really getting the full potential out of that motor. Um, so I have that, I have had that happen a few times to where I'm doing wet grass and it really doesn't like it. Uh, this, the, the next thing that I really don't like is the side shoe. It really sucks overall. Um, it's, it's really not that big for how big the mower is, you know? Again, you have 30 inches of cutting and it's all pushing out through that one little slot. So I did see a video where they said that that shoot that comes with it is really crap, which I agree. 
and they said just use a bungee strap just to keep this open and bungee it up on the other side so i haven't tried that yet i will try that now I'll, I'll, I'll do an updated video later on with the machine anyways you know but uh as, as far as for me yeah that thing really really sucks um which actually there's something that i did forget that was really good was the bagging um i you guys saw that that part of the video where i did the bagging for a client and it, it holds a lot like that bag holds a, a really good amount and i'm really impressed with that so i'd say overall is it worth the money i would say yes um here's a couple of things i'll go over things i like and things i don't like. it's really one of those things where it it really does save time um it lives up to the name time master because it, it was cutting down basically every single yard that i was using this machine on it would cut the time in half just because the mowing would get done so quick you know i can't go any faster with the weed eating it, it already is what it is um, for the most part it it takes me the same amount of time to weed eat every single time so again would i recommend it if you have the money absolutely um this this is one of the mowers where i did find it on offer up in facebook play marketplace and stuff like that for a lot cheaper but you know what you're taking a big risk i got this directly through home depot and you know it's just I, I really couldn't couldn't ask for a better machine as far as for what I paid for the price. You know, it, it does what it says that it's supposed to do and it cut down on my mowing time. And being an independent lawn person, that, that time really helps a lot. Just in one day alone, I did 13 yards in eight hours just solely using this machine. And I would say that throughout the course of the day, it saved me at least two to three hours minimum. Um, the, there's another day where I did I think 11 yards in about nine hours but there were bigger yards uh, mind you and then you know again I, I finished earlier than what I usually finish when I'm using like the 22 inch or the Honda mower so um, I'm really really impressed with it so far you know it's got its couple little hiccups but there's just things you got to get used to you know it's a new machine so you have to figure out what does work and what doesn't work every machine is not the best machine for every job so you just have to kind of figure out what works well, anyways guys that's gonna do it for this video as you can see i gotta cut my own yard it's it's overgrown so i'm gonna put it to the test here at my house um if you have any questions as always don't forget to leave them down below don't forget to hit that like subscribe and hit notifications and we'll be back with some more yard videos for flash lawn care we'll see you on the next one